So this right here is the default Blender view. This is what shows whenever you first open up Blender. And now I'm I'm pretty new to Blender, so I don't recommend following like following what I do because I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, I just I'm pretty new to it. Just learned it, watched a few videos, and yeah. But you know what? I'm gonna show you anyway. So step number one: find an image off the internet. So let's find one. So just search up very cool 10 out of 10, 100% A++ swords, and what the heck are these, bro? Texture PVP? Why is there one dollar there? I don't even. What is this? Uh, I'm pretty sure this isn't a sword. Okay, you know what? Let's just search up swords. I'm gonna search up sci-fi swords. Yo, this sword right here, I kind of want to make this. This one is probably, this is going to be a legendary rarity. This one is really good. But you know what? I think I'm going to have to pass on this. It's it's going to be too overpowered. Okay, so this sword right here looks pretty cool. So I'm just going to save this image as, and I'm going to save it as, as. So now press N to open up this little menu right here. Go to, go scroll down, go to background images, add images and open it up. Double click on it and then you need to go into ortho mode. So you need to press 5 on your numpad and wow it's in the background. Now if you move a little bit and it's gone. And to get that back you just press 3 on your numpad or 9 or yeah. Now first of all the sword is tilted so I just want to straighten it out with an axis. So come down here to your menu, go to rotation and just rotate it so that it is good. And I'm going to place this block right here and I'm going to start tracing this. So S is used to scale, and you can press Z, X, or Y to scale on that certain axis. And you can also press Tab to go into edit mode, and you can press Z to go into wireframe. So yeah, let's just move this all the way up there, and let's move this down on the Z axis. Wow, it is amazing! Also, let's go here to the little modifier thing, and let's go to mirror so we can mirror it on i don't even know what axis is it the y-axis nope the z-axis there you go the z-axis and now we can model it on one side and it'll automatically duplicate to the other side as you see if we do something dumb on this side then something dumb will happen on the other side as well so it's all good so let's start shaping this z-axis let's bring that up and let's just trace this sword so here i'm going to extrude it and then i'm also going to shape it to the little weird thing here so we could go like that we could extrude this again and again we can raise it like that perfect oh yeah and i'm going to leave it like that because i'm going to do something to remove these little circular parts here later and i'll show you that later but for now let's just trace the entire sword and just ignore these little holes in the blade oh there you go let's trace that part let's bring that back up Control r to make a loop cut which is pretty much just the thing that cuts the shape and I want to make a vertice here, so we can do that, so I can lower this down there. Oh yeah, this is how modeling is. And they, as you can see, I kind of suck at this, so if anybody is a very good modeler, I can hire you, okay? So just contact me, tell me in the comments below, because like, I kind of suck at this. So let's extrude this, y-axis, oh yeah, let's bring it all the way down there, perfect. Oh, undo, 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 undo. I'm going to extrude it again, but I'm going to stop at this area right here, because this area is where the hole stops. So I'm going to be, I don't even know what I'm going to do, but I'm, I'm just going to bring it up like that. So now in object mode, you can see that they both intersect once we bring it up. So let's go back into edit mode and let's continue tracing this. So I'm going to add a loop cut right over here and I'm just going to scale these or move them up. There you go. So this right here is our blade so far. I'm just going to make it a little thinner, you know, that is a thick blade. I don't want it to be that thick. So now I'm going to insert a plane, not an actual airplane, but like a just a just a, a flat square, pretty much a two-dimensional square, and let's just model this. So if we go into object mode, you can see that's like where's the holes, and that's what we're going to be doing right now. That is why we put in the plane. So let's delete the vertices. And right now we just have this invisible, we, we pretty much have a line. We're going to be using this line and we're going to be making these holes. We're, pretty, we're just going to be tracing again. So let's extrude this and let's just do this. Now I'm going to press B to pretty much have a box selection and I'm going to select those two. And I'm going to hold down Alt and M and I'm going to merge them at the center. So now we have a closed shape here. Oh my gosh, what have I done? Yo, what the heck? Okay, undo, undo. Wait, what? where to go? Where to go? What? Okay. Undo the undo. Okay. I guess we're gonna be stuck with that, but it's fine because we could fix that, I think. And as you see here, if we negate this from the sword, it's just going to pretty much get rid of like a two dimensional area. It's not really gonna do much. So we're going to need to make a face on this. So let's select all that and let's press F. 
There we go, now we made a face there. Now let's do that with the area that we just ruined. Let's select that, 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 F. And now we've made a little thing there. Okay, so I'm done making them all. Now it's time to reflect it on the... I don't even know what axis. There we go, so I just rotated it 180 degrees on the Y axis. So now let's go back into this view and let's go into edit mode again. Okay, now it's time to negate these from the sword. So the first thing that you want to do is you just want to go into edit mode, select everything, and then press W, remove doubles to make sure that there are no doubles. Because doubles could ruin your negating. So you just want to select it, W, remove doubles. Ooh, two got removed there, okay. I'm also going to go into edit mode on the sword and I'm going to select all the outer vertices. I'm going to scale on the x-axis and I'm going to press zero to make it zero. And now it has a bevel, it's sharp now and you want to do it to make it look sharp and dangerous because if you don't, everybody's gonna laugh at you, you know? You don't you don't want to look like a Minecraft sword. Like, Minecraft swords are made out of blocks, bro. What's that gonna do? It's just gonna tap you. It's not gonna point you. So yeah, let's apply that mirror modifier. There we go. Now we can edit both the mirror side and the non-mirror side because we applied it. So now let's select these and these and let's go to add modifier boolean and let's uh, go to operation difference and let's select the, I think we're selecting the sword. I'm not even sure. Let's try both of them, okay? Let's select the sword. Oh, failed to set value. Let's select the, the plane. There you go. Apply and nothing happened. I'm actually having some trouble negating that. I have no clue. I keep, it, it keeps saying cannot execute this thing, okay? So like, I, I don't know. So I'm going to try and add a subsurface uh, multiplier or subdivision surface. And I'm doing this because I like the way it looks as well, and it may help with the boolean modifier. The boolean modifier is pretty much the thing which negates the parts. So if you have a square and you have another square and you put them into each other, it's like subtracting each other. And it's not allowing me to do that. So I'm just going to up the subsurface modifier. Let's look at this. Oh yeah! You know what, this actually looks pretty decent, so I'm going to apply that. It will, it's gonna increase the vertices like crazy though, which isn't good, but hey, it's okay. It looks much better now. Now let's try and apply these. Let's apply it, let's see, did it work? Oh, it did work, look at that! Yo, that looks sick. Okay, let's do that for the other side. We can get rid of that, oh yeah. Now let's use a boolean again, let's select that right there, oh yeah. Wait, what? Difference, okay, let's apply that. And let's delete this, please say it worked. Yo, that looks sick. Oh my gosh. Yo, that looks so nice. Okay. So I'm just gonna add some finishing touches right now. So the blade at the front, there's like a little diamond. Uh, I kind of want to get rid of that. So I'm just going to select these vertices, you know. I'm just going to scale it down on the z-axis. Let's see. Let's look at that. Let's see how that looks. Okay, it's not that bad. So now it's time to import this beautiful sword. Oh my gosh, this looks nice. You know what, before we actually do that, I just want to mess around with it, maybe add another subsurface division, and eh, I don't like that. So I'm going to get rid of that. <laughs> Yo, I just added a wave to it, what the heck? <laughs> Yo, I made the McDonald's logo. Alright, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna get rid of that, okay? And I'm going to uh, file export, and I'm going to export it as an OBJ. You can name it whatever you want, I'm going to name it 10 out of 10, 100% A++ sword. Now let's save that export, and now we're in Roblox Studio. So I, I, I really want to import this. I, I like the way it turned out, so let's do this. I'm just going to duplicate this because this is already like a model. I'm just going to get rid of a few extra things. And here we go, let's import this. Oh yeah. Okay, we're about to see this in Roblox. Oh my gosh, your mesh contains location data. No, I would not like to move it. Come on, what does this look like? Yo, this looks so sick. Oh my gosh. Yo, this is actually nice. Yo, this is nice. Oh my gosh. Imagine people using this. Oh my, everybody's gonna be afraid. The, if, if, right whenever they pull this thing out, everybody's gonna just jump into the lava. They, they don't want to die to this. It's better to die to the lava than to die to this. This thing is going to destroy you, oh my gosh. Oh, you know what, it's actually uneven here. This one is like longer and this one's shorter, so I'm going to be fixing that. So I just selected all of these right here and now I'm going to delete them, so delete vertices. And now I'm going to add the mirror modifier again on the Z axis, I think it was. And I'm going to apply that. 
Or you know what, I'm not going to apply it yet, I'm just going to modify it a little more. I kind of like it like this whenever it's longer, so I'm going to come here and I'm going to make this longer. So we could go like that, we could go like that, and we could give it a 10 out of 10, 100% A++ sword. Oh yeah! This thing looks nice. So now it's time to apply that and export it again. And this right here is the finished product. I want you guys to give it a 10 out of 10 score in the comments below. A 10 out of 10, 100% A++ score in the comments below, come on! So let's export it again. Actually, actually, hold up, hold up. Let's select all the verses. W, remove doubles, we just removed 52 vertices, nice, now let's export it. And let's import it back, version 2. Oh yeah, this is much nicer. So for now, I'm going to see you guys next time. Peace out.